Greetings to you all, and welcome back to the paused version of Last Action Hero with me, Artsaber Omega. During this pause screen, before we continue, we can notice the lies of the game. These Molotov cocktails are in fact empty. I should have planned my unpause slightly better there. I just went for it in an effort to keep the video flowing and got myself immediately burned. Doesn't seem to have affected my character though. A light singeing of the shin. But to be fair, my character only uses his fists anyway, so as long as they're in a top-notch condition, we have nothing to worry about. Can't help but notice my guy's running animation. He doesn't look comfortable, shall we say. It looks like it's all a bit of an effort. But then he does dive gracefully through the air. So, strengths and weaknesses. Did my health bar just move? Good grief, my health bar. It's not a... What happened to Ripper? When did everything in the top change? Well, this game feels so alien to me. Ripper's health bar has disappeared entirely. My health bar is now a health bar, instead of just a luminescent green bar to provide fake encouragement. The only thing that hasn't changed is the combat. Ooh, I got outplayed pretty hard there. Wow, working health bar. This game it must have been patched or something since the last video. It's looking a lot better now, I've got to admit. That was disappointing. Could it be? We figured out how to beat him, everyone. Okay, he just split my skull, but did no damage. The clock running out, however, completely obliterated me. We're close, guys. We're close. We are incredibly close. The ancient supervillain known as Ripper has been located. It seems that he takes about 10 punches, which makes him about 50% stronger than any one of his henchmen. Makes you wonder why two of the henchmen didn't just gang up on him and take him out, but they're all very subservient. Once again, it seems that time is going to be the main issue. Interesting that Molotov Cocktail Fire knocks me towards my opponent, instead of away. I guess my guy quite likes the feel of the fire. He jumps in looking for more. A bit deviant, but you know. Whatever gets him through. The school is going to be left with an enormous doorbell by the time I'm finished. It's all in a good cause, but it's all completely unnecessary. Plus side, it seems that Ripper was dying pretty fast, so I'm confident we can defeat Ripper. That's not my issue. My issue is can we get to him in time, and am I wasting time collecting this health now that I know it's worth about one punch? The answer's yes, but I'm doing it anyway, because I found a... Is that a secret? Yeah, it's a secret. I found a secret. So I'm damn well going to get it every single time. pretty tense now though because I am on my last life. Which I can only assume means we're going back to the streets if we fail here.
Whoa, 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 don't stop the punch. We haven't got time for that kind of thing. I'm a little terrified by the score numbers. See how I'm rocking nearly a million? And yet, there's room to go up to a hundred million. Either there's some excessive point farming strategy I'm not familiar with, or this game's longer than just the Ripper. We're doing this all wrong. We develop tactics, we must use them. Thank you, giant glowing hand. It's cheap. You see, we learn from our mistakes. It's exactly the same as before. Baseball bat on the left, pirate on the right. This time, we didn't get hit twice. It seems depending on my distance to the enemy, when the punch connects, I knock him further back. Which is a strange mechanic, and not particularly useful because I would A, prefer it to be consistent, and B, like to keep him somewhat close to me so I can chain punch him without wasting time. I am aware that time is an issue. This is two guys with knives. Can't underestimate them. Though I am surprised I'm still alive. What's the variety pack? I don't have time for this. Come out, Ripper. Wish that was a waste. Shouldn't have bothered with that. Ripper, stop filling your health bar. I mean, we've got the tactics down on our first attempt of ever even punching this guy. That seems so familiar to our first try. I never expected this. I expected a boss that was stupidly long range and it was almost impossible to hit. I was ready for that. I was not ready for the time to be an issue on every single level. I feel like this game has gone from being somewhat obnoxious with the enemies to I can read all the patterns of all the enemies, no problem. But the clock, there's just nothing I can do about that. Well, if nothing else, we get to reread the plot. I'm just kidding, I won't put you through that again. Okay, I have great confidence that we're just going to blitz through this level first try. We have become masters of this one. Let me to show you the skills I have learned. The new challenger steps up to the plate. We've learned the run through the baseball bat phasing technique. This is speed optimized killing. Ignore that useless thing. Hey, Ripper's health bar is still missing. I guess once you meet Ripper once, then it fixes the health bars? I don't know. I took a risk with the edge of the screen there, it didn't pay off. But it's fine, we can handle this level. I wonder if we can face through the knife as well. We can. Alright, great. Mastery of the game is but a few steps away. Or giant fluffy arm with swinging jumps away. See, old me would have got annihilated at that point. There's no way it would have darted so elegantly past these guys. What are you doing? That was risky. That was cheap.
If we keep going like this, we're going to become speedrunners of this game. Just you watch. See it at the next AGDQ. Only as a bonus run, there's some kind of incentive behind it. Couple mil. Let's give us a chance to focus more on the game now, though. And all the gameplay has been taken care of. I do wonder what Danny is doing, because the storyline said that Danny was watching our hero, I believe it was called Jack. I prefer to just call him Last Action Hero. There he is, running out of breath. So, I suppose Danny's supposed to be following us at a safe distance to not get knifed. Or batted. Or maybe he has been knifed and or batted. And the action hero just doesn't care because Ripper is the main target. Okay, enough relaxing about how easy the game is, we're getting destroyed. You can't hit me out the air. You've never done that before. Okay, focus, focus. This would be embarrassing if we mocked the game and then lost. To be fair, they're developing new techniques on me, what can I do? Guys, that just doesn't happen, okay. You didn't see anything. Just, just no. Okay, no. We'll try being a bit more humble this time. Good fight. Well fought. Ooh, that was a close one. Nearly got me. Alright, that seems to be working. storyline standpoint, I can see why Ripper is leading these people. To be fair, these people consist of people who have found bats, a long-ranged weapon without much cutting power, and knives, a weapon with great cutting power but not much range. Ripper has combined the two elements into the sacred knife bat called an axe, possessing both range and cutting power. Truly, he is the king among men. Am I taking one hit to kill this man? Just glossing over the point that I am punching people to death because they came at me with a baseball bat. Not unconscious. Not handing them over to the police or anything heroic like that. I am killing people dead on the streets. Not sure why I felt the need to say killing people dead. That's somewhat implied, but... You know, we all know where we stand now. Except for the guys that have been killed dead, they don't stand anywhere anymore. So, a brief question for everyone watching. If you lived in this neighbourhood and you did not possess an axe, so you could not challenge the, the should I call it leadership, monarchy, I don't know. But you cannot ascend the ranks, you are designated to be a lowly thug, and before you stands a baseball bat and a knife, and a Molotov cocktail, let's be fair. Which way are you going to go? I think it's clear you reach for the baseball bat, because that way you get a nice protected cap. Don't die the same way again, come on. Let's take our time, we've got all the time in the world. We made a big point about how time is not an issue, and it will never be an issue. And we should just take our time. 
It's a bit on it. I see you trying to split up, cover more range. You can't use tactics, you weren't programmed to do it. Okay, okay, let's get it's looking dicey. Just getting all the cheap shots you can, all the freebies. They have a limited amount of health, we know they do. These are the last three. Or somehow the stationary jump was a good defensive option. Oh. Guys, this is getting embarrassing. I'm just gonna... This is as slow as I can get. I'm not very hidden, but... Hang on, let me, let me get a mouse cursor in on this. Here we go. Hidden away securely. There's my mouse gone. That's going to do it for this one then. I'm going to actually restart the game because there's no point in me starting on level 1 with two lives. But hopefully you'll join me next time and we shall somehow get back to the level we got to previously. Nice idle pose. Do it again. Come on. Good man. Hopefully you'll join me for that and I shall see you then.